Hey guys, Brian from Ambi Characters here, and basically today I came in, Antoine called me up, he told me we had a bunch of ball pythons that were hatching out. So with ball pythons, it's we we rarely have like three or four clutches hatching out at the same time. We always have one here, one there. But I told myself, you know what? Perfect time to make a video. And I have a special guest, so I have my son Raphael with me. Hello, say hello. <laughs> so he's gonna be handing to you guys all these awesome snakes. So Right away, we have a clutch that is hatching out, which is not this one, which has not just hatched out, but it's actually hatched out a week ago and they've already shed. So they're ready to be put away. So though, that came in from a cinnamon cypress head lav to a lav, yep. to a lav. So luckily for us, we have some really amazing hatchings in the lav. So to see, oh. So this is basically what we were aiming for. So this is a cinnamon cypress lavender, and luckily for us, it is a female. So looks good, you boy, huh? Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. So comparing to the cinnamon lavender, which you can see, there's less of a stripes on him. So from that point on, then. But I mean, again, they just look simply stunning. I can't wait to see how they actually age up. Anton, have you seen some uh, older? Uh, no, actually, I have seen cinnamon labs, but cinnamon cypress, I have never seen. Yeah, so that's going to be really interesting. I can't wait to see if they're actually going to be a little bit more on the purple side or, than the contrast. But definitely awesome looking snakes. And then we do have some cinnamon cypress, some cinnamons, and a bunch of... Cypress and, and Cypress, yeah. So really awesome clutch, and th that's what's fun. Like we seem to be, like we're definitely hatching out stuff with projects that we want to be building like in the future. So luckily for us, we've been always like able to have like a few holdbacks per clutch to be able to do that. They're not necessarily they're going to be awesome selling clutch, but we're definitely, I guess, Antoine, you tell me, but we're definitely breeding for ourselves first. Absolutely, so for that sure. That is definitely really fun. Now here we have some of our cantaloupes. So this is a, it was from a pastel yellow belly hypo. Head pied. Head pied to a anchi cantaloupe. Yeah. To a anchi cantaloupe. So here we go. Have some old stuff. Wow, huh? Comment to trouve. Oh yeah. So this one is a pastel anchi yellow belly cantaloupe probably. You can see actually it will show the the tail structure like on the pattern on the tail is just insane and I mean this thing hasn't even shed yet and the cantaloupes have proven that as they shed out and they grow they just get more orange and orange and it's just crazy and this one here we're thinking just a pastel cantaloupe and I mean for just a pastel cantaloupe this is amazing looking like the orange you can see like on how clean the sides are is just just going to be some really awesome animals. What do you think? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So definitely going to be fun to grow them up a little bit and see what we have. And we have like probably another super pastel cantaloupe right there. And some of the ones to figure out maybe anchi cantaloupe here. So really cool. Cool, 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 cool clutch. What do we got? Qu'est-ce qu'on a là? On va regarder ça pour la fin. Celui-là ici. So this is actually from my favorite snake. Mon serpent préféré. So we have a my spider calico female, and that was bred with the super high OD fire leopard enchi as well, right? No, yeah. no enchi. No, no enchi in this one. And this one, it is it is possible head pie, but we after a few pairings, we do think that it is not. So definitely some amazing looking. So this is definitely the highlight right here. It's Raf. So tu peux montrer sa queue. Regarde comment il range. So this would be a montre le au complet à la caméra. C'est comme ça avec tes mains. Ouais. Wow. So this is a OD leopard yellow belly fire. Nope. This is a <laughs> OD fire leopard calico. Calico as well. Yeah, here we go. So this is definitely really cool. Um, compared to this one, I, I thought I think that this one also is a calico. Antoine's not sure, but as they grow, uh, really really cool. So, OD leopard possible calico. So really amazing on this one. Look at that. 
how clean the sides are and then the belly is just so cool to remote comme ça aussi capable de l'ouvrir this one had this other one here we think is maybe fire as well and has like has this nice ringer to it really cool now we also have these two calicos so these are from the spider calico that is super high white so this is a od spider calico and probably a fire od spider calico antoine will tell me if i'm wrong that's correct but yeah definitely amazing and those as they shed you can barely see the white but they're going to be super high white and super nice looking unfortunately they're mainly male so they will be put available but we'll make some awesome looking snakes this one i actually like too this is just the od spider leopard this one any leopard in these uh no, I, no. i don't think any other ones yeah but this spider od leopard very clean really clean really nice now careful don't want to squeeze the little bugger so celle-là so these ones are hatching right now one just came it just went right in right back into its egg so this comes from a pastel leopard super stripe with a super stripe so our goal here was to actually make some super specters which is makes them really amazing but also when it comes to identifying snakes supers are definitely easier than the super stripe so this one it had come right out so we're just gonna pull it right out because it was out a second ago so it just makes it more gooey for the for the video what do you think so this one here would be a pastel leopard super specter and I mean look how crazy it is I mean the pattern it's really really That's what I really like about this one is the pattern from the Super Spectre compared to the Super Stripe. Maybe we want to pull out some, this one here would be. I can pull out the, the breeder male. Yeah, maybe so we could do that. Yeah. Super Stripe. yeah, you go right in while we show these ones up. So we'll be yeah, crazy. So we can really see the pattern difference on this one. So we'll put them right there. So this was a leopard. Pastel Leopard Super Stripe. Pastel Leopard Super Stripe. And this one, a Pastel Leopard Super Asphalt. Super Spectre. Super Spectre. So basically, with the Super Stripe, you really have that super solid stripe that goes all across the animal. And the Super Spectre kind of breaks it down. It adds a lot of pattern on the sides. And the tail pattern actually fades away a little bit, which is quite interesting. And luckily, it was a female, so... We always like females. It's a male, but that's fine. That's a male? Yeah. Come on now. We talked about all this before. <laughs> it I'm comes sorry. like, uh, that's what happens when people have like uh, ADD, like I do. Uh, I tend to forget things really fast. So, but you know what? That's why we have people like Antoine that help me out to remember things as properly as I can. So this, anyway, so really going to be amazing to grow this one up and see. Uh, this one was the pastel... Super Stripe. Super Spectre. Super, uh, Super Stripe. Super Stripe. You're right. Yeah, here we go. You're right. You're and right. And then past the Ivory that we have. And then these ones here. This one's still in the egg, so we're not going to bother it too much. But this would be a difference between a Super Stripe and a Super Spectre. So you can see the pattern on here where this one is. It's also a little bit lighter for the Super Spectre. And the Super Stripe is a little bit darker in coloration. But nonetheless, definitely a really, really cool clutch that uh, we're glad to show you guys. And then we'll definitely have... Uh, another highlight videos of our breeding season because we do have a few more clutches left. So how many clutches do you think? Uh, I would say maybe like 15, 15 or so 20. Probably 15 or 20 more clutches uh, hatching out. And then we def we always like to make some highlight and update videos on everything that we hold back. And then that's what I like so much about it is that once, once the ball pythons and even like all snakes, once they reach like a few months old, a few sheds, they just look really, really cool. So guys, I hope you like this video. I'm happy to have my son and to share my passion with him. So he's on a day off right now. So we definitely enjoy our time together, right? When it's fun? Right. Yeah. <laughs> so we love it. He's just amazed by all the animals. He loves caring for them. So until then, no stress. And we'll talk to you guys later. The cooler. <laughs> Good job. <laughs>